guys, I'm Long Fawn from United Grinding. I'm an applications engineer. Titans of CNC just released a video yesterday of the first cut on our Studer S41. There were some amazing questions in the comments down below. So Titan actually asked me to come up here and answer some of those questions so we can get a little bit more information on it. So first question was from Charles and John. How was the part actually being driven? So for that application, we were holding the part in between two centers, left and right. And usually what happens is you have to drive the part. And how people usually do this is with a drive dog and a driver. But in this application, we actually had Studer's synchronous tailstock that uses hydraulic pressure to hold the part in place. So that lateral force squeezes the part and spins the part for us and holds it in place so that when the wheel cuts the part, it stays perfectly in position. So the second question that we had was from George. He actually asked, does the machine compensate for grinding wheel wear. So how we take care of this is we actually dress the wheel during the process. And when we teach the wheel in the beginning to the diamond, the machine knows where the front of the wheel is at. The dressing is process driven. So depending on if the wheel is wearing or loading, then we'll choose a dress interval. And when we go to dress, the machine will automatically compensate and bring the wheel forward so that it always knows where the front of the wheel is at. So during yesterday's video, we were actually dressing the wheel with a rotary diamond. But this machine also has a wire dress EDM inside the machine that allows us to dress metallic bonded wheels. So with that, we actually have a few ways to keep the wheel calibrated inside the machine. When we dress, it's a process driven decision. So we have to take some data and look at multiple parts and see if the wheel is breaking down or loading. And at that point, we can make an informed decision on what the interval of address should be. Studer makes that data collection a little bit easier, throwing in a high accuracy probe that actually can measure the part inside the machine after grind and collect the data for us. And with the data, we can make a decision on if the wheel is breaking down or loading, and then we can do an automated dress and send the wheel over to the Studer Wire EDM and automatically dress the wheel and keep the machine running. So I hope you found some of this information helpful. Stick around, guys, for some more videos on grinding from Titans of CNC. Whoa. Boom. <laughs> Great job, man.